ICE is reportedly preparing to release about 16,000 migrant detainees thanks to a $700 million shortfall. That shortfall would have been covered by the border bill that failed to pass in the Senate. Chad Wolf is the former acting Homeland Security Secretary, joins me now. Chad, I think the Republicans are getting the blame for this one, right? <laughs> well, I think the administration has certainly tried to do that, but uh, I think the American people are seeing through that. This is an administration that has uh, constantly you know, sought to defund ICE. Uh, the number of beds that they've had over the last three years have been at historic lows. And this idea that they've been transporting these migrants all across the country for three years now is likely taking up a lot of their funding. So again, the bad policies result in resource deficits. And now the administration says, well, I need you to continue to fund our bad policies and the failed strategy for the past three years. Look, I think a full account accounting needs to take place at ICE. What have they been spending their money on over these last three years? Is it moving migrants around the country and releasing them uh, into the yeah. country, or is it something else? Yeah, that's more like it, I think. The National Guard in New York is being told to check migrants for specific tattoos linked to a Venezuelan gang. How come we have a special deal to let in so many Venezuelans? I think it's 800,000. Why the special deal? Well, again, this is the parole program that the Biden administration set up. We're paroling upwards of 30,000 of them into the country every single month and probably more that use that CBP-1 app. Um, and this is, uh, this is part and parcel to the Biden administration's policy. So not only Venezuelans, Nicaraguans and others, and some of these folks, as you indicated, are very violent individuals, uh, but we don't have an accounting of where they go. We don't really do the necessary checks and the law enforcement interviews at the border because there's too many of them coming across. And so this has been going on now for three years. Um, and unfortunately, we're starting to see the effects in communities across the country. Yes, we are indeed. Chad Wolf, thanks for joining us this morning. Very important day. Thank you very much, sir.